Hey guys, Peter from Panda here, sitting in my Poulon Pro riding lawnmower. Uh, you saw a video of me unboxing this thing and giving you my first impressions, but I've used it quite a bit now and just want to share with you some important details about it, how it operates and kind of the good and the bad. So first of all, uh, the first thing I will mention is that uh, when it comes, the, the, the mower height is set here and this little orange slot, which kind of moves up and down to remind you of which position you want to stay in is actually in the three originally out of the box. I've moved it to the five. That seems to be the right grass height for me. And actually when you go up on uneven hills, uh, kind of like this little hill out here, you, you still kind of make some bald spots sometimes. So I keep it a five, generally a good setting. Now, uh, first things first is you do have the key here with the electric ignition. Um, and you have to make sure you're sitting on the seat so that you're triggering that weight sensor. And then the other thing to get it to start, you have to have the brake fully depressed. So if you're a short-legged person or, or short, um, sometimes that can be really hard. Now I also have the parking brake on here. And I wanna show you, when I push the brake, it releases that. But to put the parking brake back on, I push the brake all the way forward, lift this up, and then release the brake. And it kind of holds that brake in place. So I pull it up, release the brake, and it's stuck in place here. To release the parking brake, I just press on the brake again, and you can see that parking brake falls down and then the brake could come all the way back. But you have to have the brake all the way forward. Then you come over here to the choke, and you turn the choke all the way up, choke fully open, come over here to the key, and fire it up. Fires up, pull the choke back. it off here um, the the reverse is actually super useful uh, especially when you're putting it back in the garage to be able to uh, back it in so you don't have to put your you know pull the pin out and put the transmission in neutral and push it out of your storage unit or your garage or something like that so uh, the reverse doesn't go very fast it kind of goes at a very slow walking pace but it's perfect for um, kind of sneaking it into a position especially since when you fire it up you get the exhaust shooting out the front especially on full choke you get a nice little puff of exhaust and smoke coming out the front um, so it's kind of nice to be backed into your garage or your storage unit so that uh, that smoke goes out forward now a couple of my criticisms about this lawnmower is that one um, you know it, it's quick I definitely like how quick it is but this Briggs and Stratton 15 and a half horsepower motor could you do uh, better with a little higher compression maybe 12 to 1 13 to 1 and a turbocharger you know i'd love to see something like a, uh, a turbocharger in there uh, putting in uh, 14 15 pounds of boost um, that would give it a little more pickup uh, you know give you give you kind of more torque on the top end the other thing i'll tell you is that the brake here which is pretty nice it brings you to a stop pretty quickly is the only brake option you have on this tractor and it's just kind of a pressure brake on the the wheels themselves so uh, you know no four wheel disc brake or anti-lock available um, certainly no carbon ceramics on here you know a little disappointed with that um, you know it'd be nice to have that and then to getting into suspension, as you can see there, there is a little bit of a suspension. It's not even like a leaf spring suspension. It's just kind of, uh, you know, there's just a little travel that's allowed in the wheels. And the big kind of under pressure tires uh, kind of absorb some of that impact too. But I'd really love to see, you know, Coney coil over adjustable shocks, um, magneto fluid shocks or something like that. They could adjust dynamically to the different types of terrain. That would be pretty cool. You know, smooth out the ride a little bit, uh, get some of the jarring out. Uh, that would be nice. The other thing I'll point out here is 
the seat, while pretty standard for a riding lawnmower, doesn't have a lot of side bolsters and is, is uh, you know, is not textured particularly, so it's, it's pretty slick. So on the turns, you don't have a lot of lateral support. It'd be nice to see something maybe with, you know, a larger side bolster here, maybe uh, a racing harness to keep you in place, um, and maybe even something like an Alcantara material, so uh, the texture of the material is just a little grippier on your clothing. So those are kind of my biggest gripes. Uh, again, plastic steering wheel up here too. So, you know, maybe something like an Alcantara um, or at least a leather would probably be a little grippier. Now I'm not wearing uh, driver's gloves. Uh, you know, I could certainly do that. That would probably also help. Now, the other thing is how, oh, as you're driving this and, and mowing your lawn, uh, it has a, a tendency to understeer. So what you have to do is you've got to be on the accelerator here. Uh, you want to uh, make sure that you've got enough leverage on the wheel and that you're getting a good angle, especially on the turns, that you're giving yourself a nice radius and, and uh, uh, you know, nipping the apex and, and you know, and, and doing an efficient job at keeping your speed up because, like I said, without a turbocharger or supercharging or some sort of forced induction, you know, as the speed bleeds off here, it's really hard to get back up to speed. So you want to keep that speed up as high as possible. So you really want to um, make sure that you're, you're tracking as purposefully as possible. Uh, you know, I'm trying to think. Uh, other than that, I'm pretty impressed with it. Obviously, you know, this, this metal... Um, cover the the hood here you know that could be carbon fiber i'm so sure someone could mold that you know and autoclave that up or maybe just want to lacquer it because this is black anyway the pool and pro colors are black so if you had kind of that uh uh, cleared carbon fiber black finish that wouldn't be bad maybe even doing kind of the uh, Koenigsegg type of uh, carbo titanium you know put some uh, titanium uh, filaments in there too just to give it that extra rigidity kind of as you're you know doing brushy areas and getting things as you can see you know the tree branches and stuff scratch that up you know give it that extra rigidity you know I don't want to nitpick too much I think overall it's uh, it's a pretty nice piece of equipment Poulon Pro riding lawnmower Peter Von Panda out